Hi, hello. So in the previous example, we saw how to leverage uh, an adapt component, but what if you want to leverage a component that is uh, from another vendor? So for example, I don't know, HCAPTCHA, which is a famous uh, CAPTCHA solution. And for that, you need to leverage an NPM module. So let's see how to do that. Usually what you do is uh, you go and you type something like npm install ng hcaptcha and save and it will add it to your package.json so here the trick is we have two package.json we have one which is inside the library or the nx library and one that is in the web app in the web app folder so the one in web app folder is the one from bmc so it has the dependencies for Angular, uh, Adapt, and other libraries we are using. You should not use this one because uh, what your changes might be overridden uh, when we are going to update your application, for example, when there is an, an update from the SDK, and your dependency might not be copied correctly. So the way to do it is go inside the NX library, which is come example sample app here, and be sure that it's added in the package in this package.json. So let's make sure that this happens. So we are going to do that, but not in this folder. Uh, we are going to go inside the bundle source main web app libs. And we are in the this package.json. And then here we are going to do the npm install ng h capture save. Okay, so now it added the dependency. And here it complains that you cannot find it, but that's just be temporary because WebStorm is going to detect that there is a new non modules folder that just appeared under the library. And this non module only contains ng h capture. This is very important. So here you have one node modules, which belongs to your NX library. As there is one which is here that contains pretty much everything that uh, for BMC. So this is very important that you use the package of JSON from your NX library and not the one from BMC in order to make sure that everything works properly. So now what we are going to do, we are going to create a new view component and we are going to use a view component that is leveraging this um, npm library. So you can see that here the only thing that changed is the ngcaptcha declaration in the package.json. And of course, you have a log file uh, that will store the version. So in order to create the view component, like we saw earlier, we need to be in the web app folder. And we need to be sure um, that the path to the Rx SDK home is correct, so we are going to check echo Rx SDK home. Here it's 28, it's not the right one, we want 2105. Uh, so the 2105 is actually named 10.1. Uh, and we are going to be sure that everything works properly, so we are going to go inside Rx SDK home. And here you can see that it goes to rxsdk 10.10 and we can see the folders client lib sample standardly. So we are fine. So we are going to create our new view component. We have run ngg rx view component. And we are going to create sample hcaptcha. We are going to run it in dry run, so it will just simulate what's going to happen and not actually create the files. Just to check that everything is working properly, and that seems to be fine. We are going to remove the dry run. So it will actually create the file structure. So now we should see the file structure. So it's here. It declared uh, the module, registration module of our new view component inside the main uh, NX library module. And we are just going to leverage this uh, NGH capture inside our runtime 
to HTML. So we are not going to implement it from start to finish uh, because it's already done inside my sample library. And if you want to see how it's working, there is a documentation and there should be a video on it. So just refer to this video. So here, what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to refer it. So for that, I'm going to type just, uh, so the component, so you can look at their documentation to see what the component to use. So it's NJ H captcha. So you can see that uh, WebStorm is proposing, proposing it to you. And you can see immediately that WebStorm is saying, wait a minute, I don't know this module. It's not here in your component. So do you want me to import it for you? So I'm lazy, so I'm going to say sure. So here I've got my component. If I look in my module, my runtime module, you can see that WebStorm automatically imported the NGH captcha module from NGH captcha. So here I've got my view component, my component from NGH captcha. So it has some events, some things. So for example, it has verify. So we are going to leverage that. So what does it have? It has uh, expired. Yeah. Expired or expired. Then we have error. Or error. And then we have let's format uh, this. And then we need to provide a side key. So the side key is something that you have with uh, Edge Captcha. So it's basically the keys for to use their API. So here I'm not going to use anything. So I'm just going to use like side key, which is going to be a variable in this component. Uh, so I'm going to put it here. Side key equal Kuba which is, of course, uh, will not exist, but we don't really care. So we are going to ask WebStorm to create the methods. I'm going to just add console log on verify event. And that was the only thing I did, okay. So here our view component is ready. So what we need to do now is just um, to mm, build and deploy the application and see yeah, if it works. So I'm going to set the uh, LXSDK home again because it's another terminal window. And I'm just going to type maven install-p export -p deploy. So it's going to build and deploy the bundle. So I will pause the video and I will resume it when uh, the deployment is finished. Okay, so the application has been built and deployed successfully. So let's go back to Innovation Studio. So we are going to create a new view. Um, so here we are going to do a test edge capture. And so let's see if we have our view component sample edge captcha. So we didn't do anything special on the design time. So I'm going to just put a message here. We are good. And we are going to see the runtime. So in the runtime, we can see that we have an error, uh, which is an injector error. So why do we have this error? Well, we have this error because Edge Captcha sadly is not going to do any, everything for you automatically. It's because in the module, it's not only you don't need only the to import the ng Edge Captcha module, but you need also to import it for root. So, for example, if you want to do uh, it properly, you should have done like me and read the documentation and the right way would have to been to do something like that. 
so let's do it again well actually let's not do it again let's just run it in debug mode to see if it solves the issue so like always it's in web app folder npm start api host with the ip address or domain from your innovation studio and it will assume it for 8008 so let's launch it and when it finished to sell the files i will uh, uh, resume the video okay so the files have been served they are available on localhost 4200 um, it's exactly like uh, it would happen with a standard ng serve with uh, an angular application so it can launch the page so let's try our runtime that was not working before we are going to copy everything that is after elix and we are going to paste it after the localhost 4200 so we have to log in again because it's a different session and we can see here that now everything is working so we see the, the edge capture component of course nothing is working properly because the seed key is is a dummy seed key it's not a real one but we can see that the integration worked properly so now it works in debug mode so let's see if it works in runtime mode i mean in production mode so we have to go back here and we have to build and export and deploy the bundle again so i will pause the video and i will resume it when it's done okay so the bundle has been um, built and deployed so let's see what happens this time so we are in design time going to refresh we're going to launch a preview and here we are in uh, in production and we can see that uh, it's still working so that means that everything is working properly